You want to take the first taste? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Is that is... good? <laughs> oh, we totally forgot the soda. I know, but that's just kind of a topper. It didn't say to soda it. We're making a farmer's cocktail. It has watermelon and tomatoes. The reason we were looking for a tomato drink is because all week we've been doing tomato recipes. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna use a lot of cherry time. <laughs> and join us trying out this cocktail. The farmer's cocktail. So you tell me it's watermelon tomatoes? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Kind of weird. And lime? Yeah. So <laughs> we're just gonna kind of mm -hmm. get into it, right? So we need three cubes of watermelon. So he's gonna go ahead and get that going for me. I'll cube it up. We've got a double strain drink and we need a muddler. So we're gonna add three quarter ounces of simple syrup to our shaker. Let's go ahead and get that. And then we're also gonna add those three cubes, one inch cubes of watermelon. Uh, one inch ish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't say four inch cubes. <laughs> We're just gonna muddle this with our simple syrup. Get it nice and squished and mm. all the juices out of that watermelon. Yeah, that watermelon's good. I'm gonna steal mm. a piece while I'm muddling. That is a good watermelon. Mm. Tell you what, I can pick them. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I'm not a huge watermelon fan. But I can pick good watermelons, and this one's actually really good. It really is. I, I am a watermelon fan. I love watermelon. <laughs> it's super good. But now we're just gonna add our two ounces of a wheated vodka. Ooh. And it does, this whiskey, well, vodka, not whiskey, actually does taste really good. It's, it's pretty good. Nice. I tried it. Changing it up instead of Tito's, we went mm -hmm. with a wheat. Yeah. So that's yeah. fun. It's gonna we be got, strong. Yeah, we got two ounces of that. <laughs> and set that a, to the side. After you've been working on your field, you come in for <laughs> yeah. a drink. Yeah, it's not one you wanna have while you're working <laughs> in the fields. <laughs> Get some <laughs> crooked crop lines. Yeah. And we've got three quarter ounces of lime juice. Oh, so we've got a little bit of citrus in there. Watermelons do make good drinks. I'm uh, very interested about the tomato, how that's going to Yeah, too. Yeah, that's... Uh, well, it's just like you're putting the whole farm in the cup. I know. It, I mean, it makes sense. It's called a farmer's cocktail. Mm -hmm. Now, was it because the farmer liked it, or was it because it? <laughs> you got everything on the <laughs> farm? That's the question. <laughs> All right, bud. I'm just going to add our lime juice in there. And the interesting ingredient... Tomato, fresh squeezed tomato juice. Fresh squeezed at that. Now, I know we have little cherry tomatoes. Um, I would recommend using a big tomato. Yeah. Or you're gonna use a lot of cherry tomatoes. <laughs> we tried the cherry tomatoes and we were like, what the heck, we got two drops out of this thing. That's <laughs> They're more for garnish. That's crazy. Yes, it was <laughs> definitely more for garnish. So, we're also going to be adding a quarter ounce of Campari. Ooh. So just a little bitter. Just a little bit, maybe to balance off the sweetness and the acidic. Just a bitter bit. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That yes, was you are. <laughs> yeah, that one was that one was rough. <laughs> okay. All we need now is some ice. So let's load some ice in this bad boy. All right. And take this puppy to Shake Town. All right. That sounds good to me. Yeah. I think. I don't know. It smells pretty good. I think it's, I think it'll end up being pretty good. I, I, you know, farmers usually know what they're talking about when it comes to vegetables no, and fruits. That's true. Hey. So, they grow them, they know them. They do. You hear that? It's got some pressure behind it. Yeah, it does. Look, you're getting so good at opening those. I know. And what better thing to serve this in than a mason jar? That's right. That's like so that. cool. That's fun. Okay. Did now, you need ice in your mason jar before? 
Yeah, yeah, that would okay. that would make sense, wouldn't it? I should have been putting ice in him while he was shaking, but yeah. I was just you standing were around doing nothing. Mesmerized by the shake. <laughs> I've been out in the field all day. I just wanted the drink. That's that's right. Just hey, so we got a plant. Yeah, Crazy. we were we were farming. Luckily, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't killed it yet. Yeah, it hasn't died yet. Parsley over there, <laughs> singing a different song. Oh, he's partially alive. <laughs> oh. I can't believe you beat me to it. I know. Neither can I. All right. Double strainer? Yes, sir. Uh, don't trust me. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of a cool yeah. color. That is definitely like a watermelon drink color. That's cool. This is kind of neat. Now, I'm going to say that uh, like kind of looks like it would be like a watermelon margarita. Yeah. I, I, I'm kind of excited about it. Whoops. Hey, you got to make a mess. So we need some tomato garnish. I'm gonna grab a little piece of parsley. I was gonna say either that or how about watermelon? Grab a grab a little twig of the basil. Some basil? Okay. W watermelon and basil. That's Why not? A, it's a fun thing. Yeah. Oh, we had little. There. Look at that. That's so cool. I like that. Look at that. Do you wanna you wanna take the first taste? Yes, I do. Okay. Now that basil garnish is gonna change the flavor because that's very aromatic. <laughs> okay. Is that is, good? It is actually really good. <laughs> I'm surprised. Okay. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised. Well, the reason we were looking for a tomato drink is because all week we've been doing tomato recipes. Is it not good? Yeah. Yeah. It, it blows your <laughs> effing mind. But we didn't want How to does do it taste a. Good? Uh, that's. What is it? A Bloody Mary? Like a Bloody Mary, the, the typical tomato, tomato drink. drink. So, someone doesn't like tomatoes, get them to try this, and they probably won't even know there's tomatoes in it. Maybe you should make another yeah. one. Wow. Get to juicing those tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I mean, oh, wow. That's really good. Hey, I like that. Uh, that is going to be, we're going to be making those in the summer. Yeah, no, that really would be awesome. Come out from it's a hot day. It's not too day. sweet. No. I think that Campari really balances out. It does, because you can really, you can tell like a little bit of that bitterness. No, but it, it's so but balanced. It's, it, it's, it, it is I don't, very balanced. I mean. I could be sipping on these by the lake all summer long. Yeah. That's yeah. going to be a boat drink for us. Yeah, it is. That's right. Come join us on the boat and we'll have mm. uh, a farmer's cocktail. Wow. That's difficult to describe. That's. It's easy. It's delicious. There you go. It's delicious. <laughs> All right. Well, you better get to making another one. Yeah. Well, we're going to enjoy this. I'm going to eat some more watermelon. And don't forget to drink responsibly. Yeah. But you're only going to eat watermelon after you make the cocktail. We may not have enough watermelon for you to eat. What? <laughs> I'm feeling thirsty. You're feeling really thirsty. <laughs>